Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. We need to stretch our arms out like airplane wings. Fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you. Stretch up over your head. Let's stretch to this side, over to the other side. One last stretch up at the top, and now let's bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends, and welcome to Circle Time. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started on the calendar and weather chart, let's do three things quickly. Number one, turn on your listening ears. Next, we need to put on our thinking hats. My thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has a zipper underneath my chin. So I'm going to zip it up. And the final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Will you show me how to do that? That's right. Boom, 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 boom. And now let's go over the calendar together. First, let's start off with the date. Here's the month. Do you know what the month is? August. That's right. The month is now August and today is August 11th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was August 10th and today is August 11th and the year is 2021 or 2021. Can you take out your counting fingers like this? Let's warm them up to give them a little stretch. And now we're going to count all the days that we've had so far in the month of August together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have had eleven days so far in the month of August. Eleven is also the number of the week. Now let's move on to the seven days of the week song. So for this song, we hold up our seven fingers for each one of the seven days of the week. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And if we travel down to the bottom of the chart, Let's go over the days of the week together. So listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with and you can tell me what the day is. Yesterday was t Tuesday. So that means that today is w Wednesday. And tomorrow will be th Thursday. But let's sing today is Wednesday together. Will you sing with me? Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, all day long. And right up at the top, we have the season. What's the season, friends? Summer. That's right. It will be summertime where I live for a few more weeks. And if we travel down to the bottom, that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today, where I live, I have a picture of the sun and the clouds because when I look outside of my window, it's another mostly sunny day, but there are still some clouds in the sky. 
Today my temperature chart is between orange and red because today is going to be very, very warm, but not quite hot. What about you, friends? What do you see outside of your window? Thanks for sharing with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Will you tell me what sound this letter makes? Let's do that together. And what letter is this? F, you're right. This is a capital or uppercase F. F says So just like yesterday, I don't have something that's inside of the letter box, but I do have something that starts with the letter F. Here's your first clue. This is a body part. This is something that you walk on and it goes inside of a shoe. What could it be? It's your foot. Foot starts with the letter F. And most people have five toes on each foot. Most people have two feet, one on the bottom of each leg. Foot starts with the letter F. This is how you write an uppercase F. One more time. And here's the number of the week. Will you tell me what number this is? 11. And when you write the number 11, because it's a double digit number, you write the number one two times. One, one, 11. Now let's count to the number 11 together using the large bead frame. Right here I have the large bead frame. There are units at the top, tens, and hundreds. In order to make 11, I need one unit and one ten. 11. I wonder what we have inside of the number box today to count together. Here are some acorn tops. So as I count them, I'll line them up across the top of the box and we can count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, these two are connected, so that would be seven and eight, nine, ten, and one more makes eleven. Eleven acorn tops. We've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week, so now let's go over the sign of the week. Will you show me how to say music in sign language? That's right, friends. In order to say music, you need both of your hands one arm across in front of you, and with the other, you're going to move it gently back and forth. Music. Yesterday, we learned that musicians read music notes in order to know exactly what sound to make using their instrument. We went over the music notes that are found on the treble clef, and today, we are going to go over the musical notes that are found on the bass clef. So just like the treble clef, the bass clef has five horizontal lines and these circles, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. These circles are found both on and in between the lines and they tell the musician exactly what sound to make using their instrument. But music does not only have to do with the instruments. You can also make sounds using your voice, and that's called singing. The words in a song are called the lyrics, and sometimes you may notice that the lyrics rhyme or sound the same. For today's work, we are going to play a rhyming game. Let's go! For today's work, you are going to need the help from a grown-up. 
The first thing that I did was fill up my work tray with some objects that I had around the house. I have a goat, a spoon, a block, and a car. Now you can fill up your work tray with any objects that you find. It's completely up to you. Now your grown up is going to start a sentence for you and you are going to finish up the rhyme like this. Can you help me finish my rhyme? I found my missing sock underneath a, hmm, which word or object would complete the rhyme? I found my missing sock underneath a block. Lock rhymes with sock. Let's try another one. I was looking at the moon while eating my cereal with a, hmm, what would complete the rhyme? I was looking at the moon while eating my cereal with a spoon. Spoon and moon rhyme. How about this one? I needed to travel far, so I took a ride in my car. I needed to travel far, so I took a ride in my car. Far and car rhyme. We have one more. I went on a boat with my pet goat. I went on a boat with my pet goat. Boat and goat rhyme. Thanks for helping me complete my rhymes. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and be sure to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Let's sing our goodbye song together. Can you wave like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.